Hello everyone. Welcome to Star Woman Artistry's Tarot and Oracle. This is Angel. I'm so blessed the universe has guided you to me and that you've stopped by to watch my video. I'm here to do the new moon and cancer reading for air signs. So that's Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. I have here bronzite. Bronzite's a really good protection stone. It's good for deflecting any kind of negative um, energies that may be flowing to you or being sent to you. It's good to have this. It's good to wear. It's good to have around. Um, but look this up, bronzite. Okay, you may need some of that there, air signs. So I have a series of cards here. So I have some oracles. I have some uh, tarot, Lenormand tarot. So I'm going to be separating this up here. Um, so there's some tarot cards. These are some personal cards I'm going to read in the end as me end messages. So let's see what they have to say. Mother Mary, expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. That's lovely. The Grail Knight. Romance, illusion, seeking the sacred. The Grail Knight. Wow. I've never seen this card come up. That's beautiful. Retreat. She might need to take some time to yourself here. Moonstone, heightened intuition. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it's trustworthy. So trust your gut here. Trust your gut instincts. Okay. I kind of feel like with these... Um, that there's you have some weariness about you like kind of battle weary so they're telling you to take a retreat here okay and that you really need to have faith and trust your intuition and that whatever you're manifesting is going to come into fruition here air signs okay from the animal spirit guides this is the lion the lion symbolizes courage strength healing protection life energy the lion has been a powerful symbol of strength and courage in cultures around the globe. Because of its mane and light color, it has also been associated with the sun, a symbol of heroism and the source of life energy. In Buddhism, the lion symbolizes courage, nobility, and good luck. In medieval times, the image of a lion was a symbol of healing, and it could cure any disease as well as protect a traveler from harm. In the painting, the lion is framed in a circle with four points, which forms a mandala, a mystic circular symbol that in Buddhist and Hinduism uh, was used as an aid to meditation. The psychologist Carl Jung said that the circular Mandela with its characteristic four points circumscribes a holy place. It has a means toward greater self-awareness. So this is about um, your spirituality here, okay? But you have protection in terms of your spirituality, I feel. Uh, if you're on a, a journey of enlightenment here, air signs, you got protection and the lion is there to guide you, okay? So we have here... Surrender. Remain positive about the future of our planet. For all is part of humanity's evolution. There is a divine order to all the chaos which you perceive that exists in our world. Nothing will ever truly change until we learn to love and accept all as it is. Lovingly surrender your judgments and expectations and your life will magically transform. Wow, that's beautiful. Especially in a time like now. Wow. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Positive outcome. At this very moment, you are sowing the seeds of your future through your thoughts feelings beliefs and attitudes whether through love fear or indifference you are always creating something so remember to keep your thoughts beliefs and attitudes positive and you will create a positive outcome just really focus on the positive things is what i'm feeling here you may have been through some battles some trials and tribulations you may have been through like a dark night of the soul but they're telling you you're going to come out of this okay and that you have spiritual protection that you are protected that's what i'm really feeling so let's read your Lenormand Tarot. You have this, the scythe, the moon, and the birds. So you do have some prosperity coming in here. You got the seven of pentacles. So you're building your prosperity. You're working on your abundance. You know, so this is a good positive card in terms of money and finances, okay? And then you got the moon here with the eight of hearts, which is the eight of cups. 
you're building on your love is what I feel okay something is going to be revealed to you very soon with the moon like there's something that's hidden that will be revealed in due time and with this scythe you're you're either like reaping the rewards of something that you've been dealing with or you're just cutting things out that no longer serve you okay you're making positive changes you're, you're just letting things go you got um the knight of pentacles here the which is a knight of diamonds so you you know this has been a long time coming i feel slow and steady wins the race so you've been like really just reevaluating things you're like dealing with things you you know that um you can make positive changes for yourself you got a lot of diamond cards here which is good so you are like even just in terms of finances you know you're you're you know that you can build abundance for yourself and you're trusting in that but whatever this is whatever you're cutting out of your life you know could be romance could be you know friendships past relationships whatever it is even just dealing with traumas you know you're not letting those things overwhelm you anymore you know you're going to have revelations on things air sense i really feel you've been focusing on your career you know rather than dealing with a lot of emotional things but i think you are going to deal with it and i think you you've kind of like been taking your time you know and dealing with things slowly and not rushing things okay because you know that you can um have love in your life and when you're ready to that you're going to move away from old love stuff and old things that no longer serve you okay okay you know that having hanging on to old traumas old heartbreaks from relationships isn't serving you and you're going to cut that out and when you do you know i think this has been a long time coming and when you do you're just going to feel like so much better so much lighter you're going to have a new zest a new pep for life because i really think you're working on building something more for your future okay but you at this point in time are taking time out to really reflect on things really just do things that make you happy okay you're not worried about what other people think you're worried about what you think of yourself okay and i really feel that that's what you're working on because this person's at in the past facing the past um just really making sure that you are, have analyzed you've reviewed everything and that you know your part in all this stuff and you're just taking time out you know from whatever battles you know because you see this knight here he's like very battle weary he's like you know just knowing that he can offer his love and, and a cup to somebody else you know but he's going to do it in all due time and he's trusting his intuition and his guidance from the universe to move forward with that okay so you need to to trust in that and i think financially you're good and stable it's just you're you're working on the dark night of the soul here okay and you're letting that all that go and you're being divinely guided and protected in this situation all right so let's see what the tarot have to say here you got the six of wands reversed the four of pentacles the nine of wands The Empress. The Knight of Wands. The Two of Swords. And the Queen of Wands reversed. A lot of wands here a lot of like fire energy in this in this reading here but i do feel like right now you're kind of holding tight to your pentacles you're kind of just really um knowing that you need to budget you need to make wise decisions with your money you know so that that's where you're in you're kind of just being very cautious with things here you're not being overly extravagant at this point in time because you know that you have to really um you know whatever it is you know maybe you're, you're you know you've been out of work or something like that or you're, you're just feeling the financial pinch right now that you're being more cautious with your your pentacles and that's fine you know you are still able to generate abundance but you're just being cautious where you're putting your money okay um in terms of your emotions like you are just you know not feeling very victorious over your emotions right now okay you know you can have victory over this situation but you're just not feeling that right now you know like you're not feeling your 100 percent you know you're, you're just working through things okay you're, you're just like you know if with your thoughts you're just really analyzing and, and 
being logical about things you're, you're looking at things in the past you're you're like just really reviewing things you're just like is this really mine or is that theirs you know you're putting things into perspective i feel you know and getting ready to move on from that you know and you're going in your action is the empress okay you know that you're fertile you know that you're fruitful you know that you can generate abundance that you can have this beautiful loving life you know that you have all these abilities okay and you trust that air signs so you're really just in this position of i'm dealing with emotions dealing with thoughts you know and taking that and putting that into action and just changing your life you have the ability to become this empress become more abundant to have a happier healthy life and that's what you're working towards okay spiritually you're taking action on this you're not letting this um you know hold you back okay you know you love life you know you're fun and abundant here air signs but you're not letting things hold you back and you're taking action on it you're actually really loving and enjoying life as it comes but you're you know and getting a, a handle on all of this okay so you know there's decisions that have to be made you know that there are things that have to be cut out of your life but i think you're just really taking your time on what those things are going to be okay what decisions you have to make but you know there's a decision that you have to make um very soon okay and whatever that is it's going to lead you into a, a better um abundant life okay there's you're just really dealing with some dark night of the soul issues here and you're gonna let that go air signs okay because you do have um, the Queen of Wands here and reversed in your wishes because I do feel that um, you want to be more prosperous, that you want to be able to take action on things and to be more abundant and to have, you know, a relationship. And if you're single, you know, or, you know, just to if you're involved with somebody, you know, to have a more of abundant life. So you really do want to take action on things. But I think you're just really taking your time one step at a time, analyzing everything, you know, moving on to the next thing and not being rushed and not feeling rushed and dealing with things. You're doing it at your own pace here, air signs, you're not wanting people to push you into things. So you're just doing what you need to do for yourself in its own due course. By doing that, you're going to have you know long lasting positive healthy change for yourself okay there might be some plans that i feel that you're making that you're kind of feeling frustrated over that aren't really coming into fruition yet and so you're kind of really wondering just how true these things are okay so that's could be what's also on your mind and got you in in the retreat mode but just take time just you know it's kind of i feel like just being like um the peacemaker you know not really putting up the fight just going with the flow that's what i feel for you air signs and you know that you're just going to do what you need to do okay so let's see what these cards here have to say time to heal you know and that's what you're doing you're taking time to heal laugh together so you know if you have time to spend with family and friends or loved ones you know just to have enjoy life and laugh you know be careful of false friends, you know, people who don't have your best interests at heart here, air signs, okay? Um, but laugh together. I think you really just like spending time with people and socializing. So, you know, go out and spend time with friends, but be careful of those that, you know, are going to bite you in the back or stab you in the back, whatever it is, and uh, be aware of that. And I think you, you know that with that, you know, and you're wise enough to know that here, air signs, how to discern between people who are fake and who, who are real, you know? And then goal setting. It's time to do some goal setting this new moon for you here, air signs, and to reevaluate re any goals you already have set. Okay. So here we have some fairy messages. So we have the journey, branch out to new worlds. So maybe it's also um, just getting to know new people, right? Making new friends. When you live in the moment, you will discover delight in simple things. Wow, that's nice. And then trust, breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. So if you have any doubts, just trust. Trust in the universe that the universe has your back, that you are divinely protected. You got the lion here protecting you, watching out for you, you know, and that you have this inner strength. You have the ability to let go of things, okay, and not be held back, you know, and maybe retreating from people that no longer serve you, that aren't um, really being positive, you know, like really identifying who's a positive influence in your life and who isn't and kind of just really cutting out anybody who's too negative too low vibrational and remember that whatever you're manifesting is going to come into fruition here okay and trust your intuition like your gut will not lie you know and they're telling you trust your intuition in this situation and i know that you are going to be discerning and know when to ha put up a fight and when not to okay you're you're really just going to trust that so let's pull out a song here for the air signs all right
Simple Man by Shinedown. I want to thank you for stopping by. I want to thank you for watching my video. I am so blessed by your presence on my channel. Remember to like and subscribe and to hit the notification bell. I look forward to reading for you again. Have a blessed night and day. And until the next new moon, blessings to you. Bye now.